Okay. Hey everyone, this is Stasko Makas That Gamer, and this is Conclus. I'm gonna let the opening movie play, then I'll talk about it. For thousands of years, humans have existed next to a world of unimaginable horror. Very rarely encountered, the line between these worlds is not impermeable. If a human walks too close to the edge, there is a chance that we pass to the other side. Okay, so this is Conclus. I should mention I'm going to this blind. Conclus was originally a video series on YouTube which came after the existence of Pets Cop, which was a famous PS1 forgotten game series. Conclus never really quite got to Pets Cop level popularity, but to be honest, personally speaking, in some ways I personally preferred it. It was a series that also lasted a lot longer than other sort of attempts to follow that trend, I guess you could say and sort of forged its own identity in sort of a Lovecraftian, black-and-white horror setup. To talk a little bit about Conclus, it started last year, I forget the exact month, it went on for like 20 or so parts, and then they announced that they were going to be making a game off of Conclus, which was going to be a free game for anyone to download off Steam for PC and Mac. Now, on that front, I had been looking forward to it, and the creator of the series, who was known as John Martin, I uh, got out, reached out to me and was basically giving me this key a day early to play through it. I don't really know what to expect. I'd seen the video series, but I haven't like watched all of it in a while, actually. So I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be a recreation of Conclus, as in it's going to be just like the video series, just in game form, or if it's going to be its own separate thing or what. I'm a little bit curious how this is going to go down fully, to be frankly honest with you guys. I'm excited though, I'm interested to see where this goes. I am going to warn something though, the video series was incredibly cryptic. Like, the video series of Conclus is almost ARG-like in some ways, and so I'm kind of curious if this will be like a really cryptic puzzle game, or if it's going to be more straightforward, or if it's going to be just the video series in game form, or if it's going to be its own separate game thing that's just like loosely connected. I don't know what to expect, but I'm going straight into this blindly, so let's do it. New game. Three years ago, my wife, Carolyn, disappeared without a trace. I followed every lead, but they all led to dead ends. After searching for years and coming up empty-handed, I gave up and thought I had moved on. Unfortunately, that couldn't have been further from the truth. Caroline, could you really be here? Living in a place like this? After three years of searching for your missing wife, Caroline, you received an ominous tip. The caller said your wife was alive and well, and living in a town in New England called Hell. You thought it was a joke at first, but after some research, you found the town does exist. Now as you are about to arrive, you wonder if this could really be true. Could Caroline really be here? So someone's asking why I would talk about talking. Thank you. I like the introduction. So, I should mention something. Part of Conclusive's identity, and this is going to sound really bizarre to say, but it's been my interpretation. Uh, I should mention I'm using the mouse and keyboard setup right now, so move, use open, jump, run, accept, pause. So, Conclusive, one of the weirder aspects of it, or I immediately into this. So before I start messing too deep, I'm going to pause for a second and talk just a little bit more. That's... Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Control sensitivity. Okay, there's a sensitivity button. I was hoping so. Sensitivity sound, or felt a little bit low to me. 
One of the weirder things about Concluse is that it kind of riffs on a lot of things, and it seems very intentional. Silent Hill is one of the things it definitely riffs off of. And in the video series of Concluse, they just treat hell like it's a normal town, despite the fact it's obviously called hell. So let me first say, there are places on Earth which are just called hell, so it's not completely out there, but you know. A little bit ton in cheek about the hell aspect. I don't want to spoil a lot about of the video series if you haven't seen it, but I will give a little bit of a heads up before we go into this. The game makes some very interestingly strange references to various real life things, and I think part of the concept is that the reason why Concluse was an unreleased PS1 horror game was because it was created by some developer who was riffing off of some things from the time and got a little bit too deep into real life tragedies of the time as well as an aspect of consumerism which I, I'm wondering if this game's gonna touch on it at all I don't want to talk too much about it I could talk about my theories all day but I'm not going to let's apply here yeah that level of sensitivity feels much more natural to me also curious let me pause just a little bit I want to look around a little bit controls yeah pretty straightforward that being, you, you can't really change them, but they seem pretty straightforward, all the same. Inventory. I have, for some reason, five pages of inventory. That's a lot. I have a feeling I'm going to be collecting a lot of items, which, if I'm going to be honest, that's incredibly Concluse-like, because the series of Concluse has a shit ton of items. I'm going to be playing this for a while. I already actually know... Okay, I'm going to say something. This is a weird experience already because this area which I'm looking at right now isn't in the world or in the, in the video series of Concluse, but it looks like a Concluse thing. And as such, I already know that that yellow diamond is a save point. And it's a smart decision to put down the window outside because immediately, since I've seen the video series, I'm like, oh, it's a save point. And for some reason, because I've watched the video series on and off over the last year, for whatever reason, that caused a sense of nostalgia within me. I, I don't know why, specifically the save point did, but there you go. Okay, so is that like a crouch? What, what, was, was crouch a button? Maybe I'm just crazy. Nah, there wasn't a crouch. It was run, jump, all that. I want to pick that up, though, but eh, I'm looking, I'm clicking. Maybe I can pick up this newspaper? Oh, there we are. An old magazine written in a foreign language. Okay. Yeah, these are just papers, but I can't actually pick them up right now. I'm gonna probably go to the save point. I, I should warn something right now, my name is Aesthetic Gamer for a reason, I take my time to explore. I also am predicting, because this looks a lot like Concluse, that we're gonna be going through some very cryptic things in the near future. Can I just go outside here? The door is partially open, but it won't budge. Alright, also, I even though the menu says you have to press enter to confirm, you can also left mouse button. So that's going to be easier for me than enter, so yeah, yeah. I... Looks like there's a shiny over there. I'm going to find my way down to it eventually. I'm going to be taking my time in exploring this thing. I will admit something else right now. I'm starting to get excited playing this. I kind of like the low res style, just me talking personally. This is the final Hello, lady? There is an elderly woman sleeping in the subway car. Oh, I should also mention something. I'm playing this the day before it releases. I haven't encountered any bugs so far, but if there's any bugs within this build, I should uh, fortify and say this right now. I am playing this the day before the game releases officially. So I, you know, I'm playing it early. It's the release build, so bugs may be expected. I haven't actually ran into anything yet. I just thought, wait, I should probably say that now what's on my mind. There is an elderly woman sleeping in the subway car. You try to get her attention, but she doesn't react. Maybe it's best to just leave her alone. She seems to be having a nice time all the same. I just decided to interact with her again, but that's okay. The door won't move. I'm also going to say something. I'm actually going to turn my sensitivity down by just one, I think. I think that'll be perfect enough for me. Indeed it is. So there's a red crowbar here, which means I'm going to pick that up immediately. A plain red crowbar. You could use this to open one of the subway doors. I already know what subway door to open. In fact, the moment I saw the crowbar, I figured out what it was for. I want to see in my inventory, though. Inventory. Crowbar. Okay, so it's obviously for the door up to the front right there. I'm going to just look through the other doors and see if there's anything. The door won't move. There's nowhere to wedge the crowbar. I already know where to use it. I'm just looking around. The door won't move. Okay. 
I figured none of these doors would move. Is there anything? There's a stairway there. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the correct door. Actually, I'll talk to this lady again. I'm sure she isn't gonna say anything new. She's just not reacting. She's just sitting there alone. She's got a box next to her, though, which is kind of interesting. In fact, it looks like she has two boxes next to her. Almost like picnic baskets. So let's go to the door that we actually obviously need to interact with. The door is partially open, but it won't budge. You wedge the crowbar between the doors and push as hard as you can. Voila! The door is magically open. Which means we can go outside. What does this say? You know, I'm looking at it and it's very low res, so I can't tell actually. I'm gonna interact with this. Ooh. Okay, so I'm not I'm not gonna talk about this one right now. In Concluse, there is an aspect of the video series where there's a save file that keeps on auto-saving itself with details. And the save file changes over the course of the game, which sometimes the solution in Conclus, the video series, is to load the save file, which isn't your save file. Essentially, the idea being, like, there's a save file of somebody named Caleb, as you can see here, and that their save file sometimes is the solution to certain situations you find yourself in in the game. I was actually really curious if such an aspect was going to be preserved in the game, but there it is. I'm not going to save over it. I don't think I can because it grays out when I go over it, but that's interesting. Anyways, I'm going to make a new save file there. Or it would. Does it, did it save? I don't know if it did or didn't. Do I press enter? Oh, you press enter, so... Okay, so you can't left mouse click in this case. You have to like press enter for this specifically. My name is Michael, and I am on the subway. Alright, so that's pretty straightforward. Let's take a further look around these parts. I want to see if like, the old lady's still there. She's still there. She's enjoying life. I could look behind her, but I'm not going to yet. I'm sure I'm supposed to go to a later train car because there's no stairway on this side. Oh, no, there is a stairway on this side. Well, I might neglecting it, I guess. Also, I should mention I can't run right now. Like, I can walk, but I cannot run. Before I do anything, I'll check over here. This is my exploratory hat coming in to try and look at everything. Sort of mash E as I move along here. Got really quiet over here. Like there's a radial sound that's being played over this way. Huh. Okay. I'm ready to leave if I'm not going to a straight dead end. I did notice there was a stairway and some other stuff on the other side, so maybe I can hop in on the other side from like a staircase in the upper area. We'll find out, that's for certain. Let's go up. This is the final stop. Please exit the train. The voice got deeper. Alright, so we've entered the subway. I will say this, this is a different starting point than the video series. So this is new. I can read that sound. It says Uptown. I don't know why, but I get the sense this area is completely and utterly locked down. And, you know, just call it my intuition. The turnstile has been chained and locked. You know, I didn't, I didn't notice. It almost looks like either it needs two keys, or if those different slots are like keys, they could need a little bit more than that. But hey, I'll look around for some keys someplace. We're gonna take a solid look around. Can I walk through these turnstiles? Ah, yes I can, actually. I almost expected that wouldn't let me. But hey, I got complete freedom to go back and forth. Before I go over there, I do want to check downtown. This is the other side, like I said earlier. Let's see if this leads to anything. All right. I still can't read that, for better or worse. I think I saw something shiny over here. I did see something shiny over here earlier. I'm observant. It's a key. A monster discarded pieces of trash, you find a key. Picked up employee key. All right. And that's feel, feeling pretty good. I, I was observant enough to notice that from this train car. We got, what does it look like in the inventory? Employee key. Coolio, coolio. Oh, there's a cutscene. Huh. 
I'm not sure if the audio is supposed to be kind of like that, but it was an interesting little cutscene. Looks like one of those little liquidy figures holding a balloon. That's fine. Let's walk over this way. The train's gone, though. I can't just hop into the rail yard, as it turns out. I don't think there's anything over here, but I'm looking. The answer is a negatory. Yep, the train's left town. Fortunately, I won't be able to get it from this way. I'll go back up and see what else I can spot. Should I look over there? I'll go over here first. Let's see what's around these parts. The poster, which of course is a blurry texture so I cannot read. It's okay, it's the PS1 era. That was a common back then. There's a shiny door over here and an oil drum. The trash can is empty, but is but is some putrid? Hmm. Hmm. That's okay though. I always thought those were barrels for some reason, not trash cans when I saw them in the series. Oh well. Doors locked. Needs a key. Use employee key. Let's look about. You check the lockers. They are all empty. Well, that's a shame. So the key I got wasn't for the turnstile, it was the employee's key to open this up. Got it. Is this anything? I mean, it might just be a brick. That looks either like a trash or body bag. Be a very small body bag, though. Alright, so what does this note say? It's also like these shinies. There's a quarter on the desk. Picked up a quarter. There's another quarter, too. There's a quarter on the desk. Picked up a quarter. Alright, how's the quarters look at my inventory? Is it two separate items, or like one item but I've got two of? One item but I've got two of. Okay, I noticed that there was like some slots within that one thing, so maybe the cores are used and put inside those locks I saw earlier. Janitor's note, one out of one. I can kind of read it there. Yeah, okay, so I do read it from here. I've done all I can to keep every or to keep anyone from entering this area. Not like I've seen a soul anyway. Beware, if you're someone reading this that has plans to enter Cordo. Wait, Cordos? That's not hell. Stop. Something bad is happening there. Take my advice. Get back on the subway and leave. I have to warn you about something else. If you see a woman with long black hair in this subway station, don't talk to her. If you must go to Cordova, I think it's Cordova's the name, the keys are in my locker, but make sure you lock up everything behind you. Uh, the, this place is dangerous. It will rot your mind. Written by, there's a name there, but it's in cursive, and I can't quite read it. Alright, so is this his locker? You open the locker. There are some corrosive chemicals and rags inside, and not much else. You find janitor's keys. Picked up janitor's keys. Okay. There's a few funny coincidences, I just want to say. A musty work uniform. Very dirty. So you might be noticing that some of the characters are missing when I'm reading stuff, and I had almost forgotten this, but that was something that occurred in Conclus 2, so I'm wondering if it has any deeper meaning there. All the same. Let's take a solid look right through this door, then. Open up said door... What else do we got? We're gonna walk right through these... Turnstiles! I almost forgot their calls, but in fact I featured them and closed your eyes myself. Okay, so obviously this will open that up. Before I open that up, I'm gonna go save my game again. I can't run yet, as I mentioned. It's very bright when I'm looking directly at it. Oh, wait! There we go. Michael? Okay. I'm almost curious to try loading Caleb's save file there, but I'm gonna resist the temptation. There's not a load option from there, so yeah. Alright, let's unlock this. The turnstile's been chained and locked. Use the janitor's keys and the chains and lock fall to the ground. Now he did politely ask me to put it back. A am I gonna be a jerk? The note specifically told me it was dangerous and I'll lock it away. A map of the subway system. Is this supposed to be a map? I was actually wondering what was on this billboard. I decided to look, but that's a, that's like a useless map. It's like a straight line. Welcome there, Leon. Let's cross on over. 
I personally would have listened to the note if I'm going in, I might as well just lock it up behind me, if it's like that specific. We have a missing reward picture, which honestly looks a bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of creeping me out. A poster for a missing girl. Someone has drawn black X's over her eyes with a black marker. Well, that's not very polite. Can I use the phone? No, can I use the quarter on the phone? A payphone. You need a cord to make a call. Home. Mom. Carolyn. Oh, this is an interesting mechanic I didn't really see coming. Should I call home? I'm gonna call mom first. Let's call her. Hello? Hey, it's me. Who? Michael. Mom, don't you remember my voice? Oh, I'm sorry, dear. The phone is just low. I'm surprised you called. I haven't heard from you in a while. I know. I'm sorry about that. Just been busy. That's okay. What have you been up to? Anything new? Not much. I'm in New England right now. Anywhere I might know? A town called Cordova. It's supposed to be a great vacation town. Never heard of it. Make sure you take some pictures for me. I have to get going, but I'll call you tomorrow. Promise? Yup, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Love you too, dear. Good night. <coughs> a few interesting little locations there. I have another quarter, so I can probably call one other place. Oh. Is it like single use? I'm tempted to cheat the game a little. I did just save my game. Hmm. I'm going to do it out of my own morbid curiosity. Continue. I'm really tempted to load, try loading that safe file. I'm not going to yet. I'm just gonna, I'm going to stick with my choice there to call mom in the end. I want to hear what the other two calls have to say. Call it my own morbid curiosity here. Also, it's kind of interesting how the camera's like slightly just adjacent and tilting. Right, let's call home and see if anything happens. It's me, just checking in. You're there already? I thought you just left. Yeah, about eight hours ago. It seems like it's abandoned. I'm the only one here. Weird. Well, let me know how the search goes. I'm ordering something for dinner and spending the night grading my students' papers. How's Benny? He seems happy. I just took him out for a long walk. I'm sure he appreciated it. Thanks again for watching him in the house for the next few days. I can't pass up this lead. It's no trouble. I owe you after all the times you helped bail my sister out. Good luck. Thanks. I'll catch you later. Wonder who that was. I assume I just can't use the phone again. Yep, so one time uses for those. Now, my own curiosity, what does Caroline have to say here? We'll continue. I'll pick my favorite. I'm probably going to stick with Mom because they're who I chose to call first, but yeah, yeah, I. let's go through, get rid of that, talk to on the phone again, Caroline. She's supposed to be missing, so her not answering her phone is pretty much to be expected. Alright, I'm gonna stick with my mom choice. I just wanna see what the other one said. I'm assuming there's gonna be other phones, and maybe I'll hear some more of those calls later, because I still had a quarter after that, but yeah, yeah. I, I guess it's just one quarter per phone usage. Alright. We're gonna listen to Mom's call again, which was my favorite of the three, honestly, so... And plus the one I chose first, so... She sounds like she's sickly, and I guess Hello. we're a little bit distant. Hey, it's me! Who? Michael! Mom, don't you remember my voice? Oh, I'm sorry, dear. The phone is just low. I'm surprised you called. I haven't heard from you in a while. I know. I'm sorry about that. Just been busy. That's okay. What have you been up to? Anything new? Not much. 
much. I'm in New England right now. Anywhere I might know? A town called Cordova. It's supposed to be a great vacation town. Never heard of it. Make sure you take some pictures for me. I have to get going, but I'll call you tomorrow. Promise? Yup, I'll talk to you later. Love you. Love you too, dear. Good night. <coughs> okay. Call with mom completed. I still have a quarter in my inventory, right? Like, it didn't cost two quarters to call. It only cost one quarter. I guess phones are just singular useless for whatever reason. A poster for a missing girl. Someone has drawn black X's on her face with markers. Black markers, specifically. It almost looks like there's a door hidden here, doesn't it? Like, you kind of see what I'm talking about? It's like there's a patch of the wall that looks different than the rest of it. It's probably just the pillar shadow, but all the same. Can't read any of these signs all plastered over here. We're finally about to leave the subway system. Gotta look at the trash can. The trash is filled with bugs. Well, that's pleasant. Let's go through. And outside we are. We might very soon get to where the actual Conclus series starts, because this looks semi-similar to the beginning of Conclus, but not quite. There's another phone immediately, so I guess I can use my quarter there. An abandoned bicycle. Its frame is bent. Someone tore a phone book in half and threw it into the trash can. You need a quarter to use the phone. What happens if I call my mom again? I might have to reload my save file if this just gets me the same call again, but let's find out. Well, that was a waste of a quarter. <laughs> Say hi. Ah, I'm gonna reload one more time. Sorry to do this one more time to you guys. I'll talk a little bit through the call this time so we don't sit through the last time. I didn't. Many years ago, my wife, Carolyn, okay, so I'm going to do something. I accidentally watched the cutscene, but the audio did skip during the last cutscene thing, so I'm actually going to try something. I'm going to alt tab for a second, so I'm going to pause. I'm actually going to relaunch the game, see if it resyncs the cutscene audio, and launch it back up and load my save file. Oh boy, oh boy. Elio Dago. You guys should be able to see the screen again now. Hopefully that resyncs. It might be because I'm also recording the screen. That's one thing which I was thinking earlier. For thousands of years. Let me skip that for a moment. Continue. Save file. I'm going to call two different places. I'm wondering if I keep on calling different places, if like it'll lead to different things. Like, maybe I keep on calling mom's number, or like, Caroline's number or something, I'll get special calls or something. But, I don't know that, and I'm more of a morbidly curious type, so I'm going to just look at this and listen to mom's call again. There's a few interesting implications with mom's call, both the fact that she sort of passively says, all I knew is you, well, there's suggestion that she doesn't recognize my voice there. Also, it sounds like she's sick with Michael, it, obviously, the call Mom, at the end. Don't you remember my voice? It's a pleasant call all the I'm same. Sorry, it's just implying, just... I think, deeper things. I'm surprised you called. I haven't heard from hmm. you in a while. Also, I guess I we know. haven't talked to her for I'm a while, she says. That. Just been busy. That's okay. What have you been up to? Anything new? Not much. I'm in New England right now. Anywhere I might know? A town called Cordova. It's supposed to be a great vacation town. Never heard of it. Silent Hill sure last. I have to get going, but I'll call you tomorrow. A local vacation resort yep, town known as Cordova. So also, it's not Cordova or whatever I said, it's Cordova. I'll try to remember that. And with my other quarter, I'm going to try and call home. And then I'm not going to make any other changes after this. I think I'm just going to mostly try and trust in the places I choose to call, but yeah. I... An abandoned bicycle. Its frame is bent. And nothing in this trash can. Or a uh, phone book torn in half there. I need a quarter to call the phone. I'm going to call home. Hello? Hey, it's me. Just checking in. You're there already? You just left. Yeah, about eight hours ago. It seems like it's abandoned. I'm the only one here. Weird. Well, 
Let me know how the search goes. I'm ordering something for dinner and spending the night grading my students' papers. How's Benny? He seems happy. I just took him out for a long walk. I'm sure he appreciated it. Thanks again for watching him in the house for the next few days. I can't pass up this lead. It's no trouble. I owe you after all the times you helped bail my sister out. Good luck. Thanks. I'll catch you later. Voila. And phones are indeed single uses. There's something shiny in the forest there, so obviously I'm going towards it. You see a pair of pliers appears. Uh, I guess pliers or something. On the, it's like I know what it is, but I forget what it's called. In a strange black substance, picked up pliers. That is pliers. I wonder what the strange black substance could be. It's a mystery. Also, a shiny I saw there. You stare out the small dock, watching the watch him quietly below it. I didn't press anything, but he just did that. A lit cigarette. Someone was here recently. The smell is somehow familiar. Caroline used to smoke this brand of cigarette. Can I try for this? A sticker on the binocular says, Out of service. There is a quarter wedged in the quarter slot. You try to pull out the wedge quarter, but you cannot get enough leverage on it. Use the pliers to stink out the quarter. Picked up the quarter. Oh, that's nifty. So I can call all the places. Oh, yeah, this works. I see what I said about. You need a cord to use the binocular area. Oh, did I just use my quarter? Ah, quarter is like a current. <laughs> That's super dumb to say that, but. Filled with foul smelling refuse. Yes. Ooh, I found a bug. Oh no. It's okay. Bugs are to be expected. I think I clicked it too fast, so I got to a point now when I click uh, enter away from this, I get it like that. If I make. I'm gonna make a second safe fall in case it's like a bad bug or something. Okay, there we go, I fixed it. Congratulations, me. Cordova. I'm gonna rotate saves a little bit, so yeah, yeah. Before I check out that boat, I wanna see what's over here, because I don't really get to fully explore this way yet. It looks pleasant enough, and there's something sitting here. A key. You found a small key on the ground. That static sound implies that something near me. Is it you? It's probably you. you inspect the trash. Nothing inside but beheaded rat. I, I consider that more than nothing, personally. I also... I noticed inside the train car my jumping was very floaty, but now it's much better. Huge clumps of bloody hair hug the insides of the trash can. Laughter can be heard from behind the door. You try to open it, but it is being held shut. Somebody really finds something funny. Town isn't abandoned, though. Inside, there are torn up newspapers drenching in a greasy brown substance. The trash can is littered with, a so with soda balls lined filled with a yellow, thick yellow liquid. Very pleasant stuff, you know. Dark figures can be seen under the water on the nearby shore. Can they? It's a little hard to tell. Huh. She can have a crazy time all she wants. Can I go like behind here? I can! What's this? A sewer grate, but I can't see interact with it. Oh, yes I can! Good eye. Ah, oh, that was an achievement thing, by the way. I'm, I don't think you guys can see the achievements right now. Hmm. I'll check around this place before I mess around with anything else. I hear the static thing. Is it you? I think it's you? Can't jump on top of that. Let's see if it's deeper inside the sewers. Ooh. There's a figure there in the distance. What is that? Hello, staticky figure? The figure stares at you expectantly. 
I motion toward emotions towards your pocket. Um. You want a quarter? Like, that's all I can think of. Is a quarter what you want? Maybe I should come back with a quarter. If I find a quarter, I'm giving it to you. If not, I can reload my previous save file and use one of the quarters I got there for this, so... I'll remember this is here. Let's go on up. Give it a moment. Oh, I accidentally went back in the moment I went back out. If I find another quarter, I'll come visit him. There we go. Okay. What's back here? I'm hoping I find another quarter now. No oh, cutscene. Is this gonna be the guy jumping from the building? It is. Unfortunately, it might be because I'm recording the screen, the cutscenes, audio, and stuff lags a little bit. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's just something which I'm gonna note here. Inside, you have broken baseball that covers a shiny black substance. This right here, I think, is in fact the beginning area of the Conclus video series. I don't remember laughing, but this area, specifically starting right here, looks like the beginning of the Conclus video series. There's a few minor differences, like, there's the, like there wasn't the stacky thing here or the laughing, but it seems similar enough. And the scene we just saw of the guy jumping off the roof onto the ground is like one of the first things you see in Conclus, which means I might know where we are right now. You can see several dirty syringes inside the trash can. The trees seem to be covered in a smelly brown paste, such an awful stench. Pleasant, I know. I'm just kind of trying to walk through them at the moment. It's a hassle, though. So up ahead, it's going to be a turn into an area with a clock puzzle. Yeah, this is the way to the hospital. I know where this is. Hi. From the man's wounds, it appears he was dead before he hit the ground. The dead man is wearing a hospital security card. Picked up hospital security card, which also stopped the sound. So this is the beginning of the Conclus video series. That's interesting. You find yourself on a claustrophobic, cobbled street. A hospital looms in the distance. Establishing shots. There are several medical uh, armbands inside, all women's names. I'm gonna try inside here. The door is locked. You need to find a key. Got it. So it's been a while since I've seen the earlier parts of Conclu, so I'm sorry if I don't like immediately know what to do here. Inside you find a black wig and a bloody pair of underwear. A lot of different flavor types for the trash cans. Locked, but has a small keyhole. You used a small key. Relevant. There's the key lane on the desk. It reads alley key. Picked up alley key. I'll hear a sound. Death at 2.30. Yeah, this is the beginning clock puzzle. This is the beginning of Conclus, this video series. That's interesting. Death at 2.30. I can, yeah. Just kind of listen for the audio there. Sort of feel the walls to see if there's like a source to this audio I'm hearing. Not as far as I can tell. Anything in the trash can? Nope. Is there something? Oh, there's a quarter there. Almost didn't see it. So I'm going to do like three things. Before I open up that, I'm actually going to go back and see if I can give the quarters that one figure. I don't know why, I just think he wants a quarter, and I want to give him the quarter if I can. I want to give it, give it, give it to him, just a quarter. I'm liking this so far, though. Maybe I was already a fan of the series. This is honestly pretty much what I expected it to be, which I say as a positive. It is a game version of the Conclus video series. 
I mean, that's what you would think if you saw the video series, that's what you'd be expecting. That's definitely what it seems like right now. So anyways, let's see if we can give this guy a quarter. I'll... The faker stares down at you expectantly. It motions towards your pocket. Is it not the quarter you want? My pockets are getting full. I wonder what it wants. I thought for sure it was a quarter that I was seeking. Well, I'll move on my way. I'll come back for you later. I'm curious about you. You seem like you're a secret waiting to happen, but I'm not really sure what you might want. This is also the unfortunate thing about being one of the first, like, non-beta testing people to play a game. I, I don't know what they want. It's it's a mystery to me. I'll try again later. Laughing Lady seems pretty happy to see me. Laughter can be heard. Yeah, I know it's being held shut. I was just hoping. Alright, so we're going to use the alley key, and I believe it's going to take me to a clock where I set the clock to 2.30. They want your expertise. With the expertise in my pocket. The door is locked. You need to find a key. Used a key alley key. The eyes and nails disappear a lot of the time, which I think is interesting. So here's the clock puzzle. I'll read what this says first. No on the walls. Uh... Unlegible is what it's supposed to be saying. The little character's missing is intentional, so... Plus plus equal marks, diamond, plus plus diamond, plus plus... Hmm. I took a Steam screenshot of it, but I'm not really sure what its purpose is right now. Dots? A clock. Press up and down on switch hands, left and right to turn the active hands. So is the instructions, a clock. Press up and down to switch hands. Okay, so that's how. Are you sure that works? There we go, it worked, it finally worked for me. There we go, 2.30. A small component of the Koku clock pops open, revealing a scary looking key. That's a pretty scary looking key, I'm not gonna lie. Looks pretty cool, honestly. Just four inventory pages left, and they go quick, apparently. Eh. Alright. Looks pretty cool. Oh no! Sorry. <laughs> Clock sounds, that was glitching for a second there. Alright, so small key obtained. Let's take that back. I think we're gonna see a cutscene in a moment, if it's like the video series. Like, there's gonna be something watching from over here when I try going this way. Lock tightly, you need to find a key. Use the death key. A dead cat lay sprawl on the ground, several dead kittens surrounding it. You suddenly feel like you're being watched. There's the video. Now, unfortunately, the cutscene audio is skipping for me. I think it has to do again with the fact that I'm streaming. Saw that coming, though. Alright, well, we're back. It's okay. I think we're gonna come back here, maybe? I don't want to go too far ahead, because I still want to see if I can figure out what the alley thing wants me to do. Yeah, black wig and bloody underwear. What a surprise. Anyways, we're getting close to the hospital. I'm a little bit afraid about going too further ahead, so... Can I open up this door? The doors are locked. There are several torn hospital gowns inside the trash can. I wonder if this is the hospital. It's a mystery. So what is this game about, somebody asks. 
So there was a video series on YouTube which started last year called Conclus, which came after Pets Cop, which was a lost PS1 game thing. Uh, this was probably the best follow-up to Pets Cop, which sort of formed its own identity. It was a video series which I kept up with. A lot of video series that tried to follow what Pets Cop did ended up sort of quitting itself part of the way, but Conclus kept on going. Eventually, they announced that there was a game based off of Conclus that they were going to release on Steam and Mac. It releases tomorrow, and it's a freeware game, I should mention, you don't have to pay a cent for it. Um, but it releases tomorrow for everybody. The creator was nice enough and reached out to me to give me a key to play a day early, so I'm just kind of playing through it right now because I had time and was excited for this. Figure stares down you expectantly motions towards her pocket. I don't know what you want, sir. I want to figure it out, though. It might not be going to... It might not have anything to do with me going to my inventory and trying things, but I'm trying that, so... Well, okay. Anyways, the thing which is interesting, it started in a different place, but the part of the game I'm in right now resembles, like, the first... If you watch the Conclus video series on YouTube from, like, a year ago, the part of the game that we're in right now is the beginning of the Conclus video series. The very first part of the game was a new area, but the area of us going to the hospital, what I'm doing right now basically covers, like, the first couple videos. So, yeah, yeah. I'm curious how close it's going to stay to the video series and how much it'll depart from it. I do have another quarter, so I could call Caroline or somebody else. I'm going to hold on to the quarter for the moment until I've got more quarters. Also, I haven't checked the... I'm going to check the boat. Also, I just realized the run button now works. I could have checked that before. Entering the subway. So you can't just re-enter the subway. I'm a little bit surprised by that. I did find a bug, though. It entered me in the subway from the wrong place. It entered me like if I was entering in from the turnstile. It's not like from the door. Sorry, I'm a game designer, so I think about weird little bugs. It's not a big issue. In fact, comparatively to bugs, it's a very minor one, but yeah, yeah, yeah. A lit cigarette. Somebody was here recently. It smells somewhat familiar. I'm going to check the boat and see what it says after I save my game, just so I can save my current progress. There we go. What does the boat say? A boat. If you had power bars, you had pars. Yep. You could take it somewhere. Pars. I forget, paddles? That's what I'm thinking of, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, nothing on that. So I'm going to go to the hospital now. Let's run our way. I'm jumping on my way. Do dee da da dee da 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 I'm enjoying myself, don't mind me. Hospital's this way. Let's do what we can do. Blues can do, we can too, sort of deal. Hospital. I'm so far enjoying it, though. I like the video series, though, so I can't say too much. Well, I can't say stuff. The doors are locked. I'm gonna use the hospital key. Use hospital key. Yep, the hospital looks just like the video series, unsurprisingly, honestly. I did not mean to go outside immediately, but at least that doesn't mean I can return. Alright, so there's a phone here, and I'm tempted to use it, but I'll wait till I find out a quarter. As you step into the darkened hospital, a chill hits your skin. For some reason, almost all the L's and I's are missing from the dialogue, and I'm wondering if there's like a deeper reason for that. There's another quarter. There's a quarter on the desk. Picked up a quarter. There's a key line on the desk. Picked up the hospital key A. There's also a note. A sort of medical paper is nothing to use here. I guess that's not actually important. An ancient looking computer sits on the reception desk. You try to put or you try to power it on, but nothing happens. Interesting. Okay, so I can just go behind here. Looks like there's another well there's other papers on the ground, I should say. I'm gonna take a solid look around. Hi, trash can. B04, B07. I got, yeah, I have key A, it said, so it's probably for the stuff over here. So I'm gonna go use those right now. B03. I'm looking for the A doors, I think. The painting depicts a burnt man, stares at the firefighters, putting out the blaze. Unfortunately, this is the second time I've run into this specific glitch, but I know how to fix it, so I'm gonna go do it. Sometimes if you click something too fast, which I accidentally sometimes do, you get to a situation where you can't rightfully like click away from it, but you fix it if you go to a save point or interact with something. Probably to a different area, door would work too. 
A photo of several figures carrying a young child. They have strange expressions on their faces. Moy moy. Still in front of the hospital. BO1. Lock tightly. I think I know where the key I need needs to go, because I think I remember seeing this in the video series. It's been a while since I've seen the earlier parts again, but I'm mighty sure it's the door that's furthest that way. I guess I'll use my quarter, though. A pay phone. You need to record to make a call. I'm gonna call Caroline just because I haven't yet. Even if it's like a wasted quarter. I feel like maybe the ringtones are based on how many times you call a place. Like maybe if I kept on calling mom, it cycled through different air or chances to talk to her. Or maybe I just saved my game. Worst comes to worst, I can try again. I'm gonna try calling mom and then I'm gonna reload my save file and go to Caroline if that doesn't work. My guess is that how this works is that you have to call certain things a number of times. Like maybe the next time I call mom, no one responds, but maybe the time after I call her that again, she answers is my current guess, but I'm not sure. It might just change based on what point of the game you're at. I'm gonna call Caroline, which probably is gonna be an empty call, but just in case my first theory is correct. Caroline. My, my. I'm gonna hold on to my last quarter, though. Well, you can't reuse payphones, so I'd have to anyways, but yeah. A painting of a dark figure standing or attending to a group of small creatures. So I'm pretty sure the A door I picked up is for... Yeah, these are C doors there. That's a B door. It's gonna be for up here. Great nothingness. There is an arg sheet of metal, boy or bolted to fencing, preventing you from moving forward. If you had a pair of pliers, you could pry off the bolts. I do have a pair of pliers. There was a cry when I did that. Use the pliers to pull off the bolts, and the metal sheet comes off easily. Use the pliers to pull off the bolts, and the metal sheet comes off easily. That was a weird repeat. Oh, was that just in like a series? Yeah, it was just a series of doing the same thing. So it was like three locks to the same thing. I got confused there. Roof A. Lock tightly. You needed to find a key. You used hospital key A. All right, we've entered. I remember this place from the series as well. A photo showing several dark figures in the distance. What about that one figure that's up close? Knocked over chair. You inspect the pain closely. You can't tell what it's supposed to be. I'm just looking around, don't mind me. A man looks at an overturned truck. There seems to be fungus are emerging from the ground. That, that's a train, right? A train barrels towards the viewer. The sky is filled with fog. All right. The elevator button doesn't work. I need to restore power, which this is actually from the video series. <laughs> Watching the video series is going to be, having seen the video series before, but not in some time, is going to be interesting here. I know because of the video series that the generator is on the roof. So let's go. When I watched the video series, I never thought it was actually going to be turned into a game, I'm going to be honest. So I'm still a little bit odd at that. The air is stale. Something rotten is nearby. There's the dark figure of those, those trees. This area is under construction. Sorry for the inconvenience. So yeah, we're gonna take a pathway to try and get to the generator on the roof. There's also another phone here. A pay phone. You need a cord to make a call. Sure, I'll make a call. Let's just, I'm gonna call home again. Just to sort of cycle what I'm calling here. I could have put all my quarters into calling one person, I bet I would have answered eventually, but this is just me theorizing, going in blindly. 
Let's click the switch. Take the lift. Again, unfortunately, the cutscene audio is skipping for me a little bit. So I'm pretty sure it's because I'm like writing streaming software and recording while I'm playing the AI. Several rusted lockers, all empty. That's unfortunate. Anything about the chair? No. Okay then. Looks like there's a little pathway back here. I guess it doesn't actually lead to anything, but I was curious about it. So we're gonna follow a little bit of a trail and eventually we're gonna get to a place that I think that we need a generator or something. Well, maybe I've got the stuff I need, maybe I don't. I don't know. Yep, this is what I thought it was gonna be. I forgot about the dead pile things. It's been a while, but I remember this site. There's an item. In fact, I thought there was a generator up here, but right, it's the dead pile of stuff. I'm gonna jump down here. I'm a little bit floatier out here than I am indoors. Look at this dead pile of stuff. I think it's supposed to be like corpses of humans. Uh, several decomposing bodies. The smell is terrible. Pleasant, right? Hmm. Hi there, bunny. What do we got here? A key? Picked up roof ladder key. Now, one would assume, <laughs> you know. I'll go to the roof ladder. Something which I always thought about concludes, which is still true, this is what I thought during when I watched the video series, is that the keys are always placed really close where they need to go a lot of the time. It, I'm sure that's intentional, it's just kind of a weird thing about this series in my opinion. Eh. Like, huh, roof key. I wonder if it's going to be used around here. See that shiny note? I'm not neglecting that at all. Trying to figure out the way into here. Here we go. Looks like large tapestries almost. I'll pick up this though. Note one out of one. They keep coming back. The only way to stop them is to have the or is to burn the bodies. Just don't inhale the fumes. So the only way to stop them is to burn the bodies. Just don't inhale the fumes. Pretty straightforward. Hi TV. The VCR is empty. Ah, so there's a VCR here. There's this VHS tape right there. Someone has set up a television and VCR here. An old VHS tape sits on the rusty VCR. For some reason, I don't remember this from the game, or from the video series, excuse me. So maybe it's gonna be something new. Let's find out. Picked up VHS tape 1. I wonder where I can play it. It's a mystery, right? VCR is empty. You put in VHS tape 1. Get ready for skipping audio. I don't remember that for whatever reason. Maybe I'm forgetful, or maybe that's just new. I'm pretty sure it's new. Can't track with that. I'm wondering if there's a better way for me to capture the game than game capture. I currently have it set. I'm gonna test something in just a moment, but I guess I'll wait until after I'm off this hospital roof sequence. That's where that was. Yeah, you can run minorly through this area. There's obviously another ladder here I'm gonna pay some mind to. Hopped right on down. Now where am I? I'll look over there in just a moment. I'm just gonna first check out this area. Ooh, cute. It's Circle Pro, everyone's favorite retro video game hero. Of course. I miss mommy. I hate this place. There's some symbols drawn there that look similar to some symbols I saw earlier next to the clock thing. Hey, 
What do you mean, Circle Bros looks creepy? He's everyone's favorite retro game hero. It, it told me so. He looks a little bit creepy, I admit. You check both lockers, but there's nothing inside either. Can I go through this door? The door is locked. I need a key. Use roof flower key. So before I go there, I just first want to see what's over here, I guess. I know I have the key, but I just want I want to check out what's over here first. Did I do like a whole big no no? This is above where I was earlier, so if I, I could drop down here if I wanted to, but there's another VHS tape. Another VHS tape. Now before I watch this VHS tape, I kind of almost want to save my game first. So I'm going to see if I can find a save file. I'm going to test something because I feel like I know it's making the video stutter. It's because I'm doing game capture. So I want to see if I can do window capture, but it's going to need me to experiment a little bit, so... First let me see what's up here. Is it another VHS? Oh, I found the VHS tapes! My collection is completed. Picked up VH tape 3. I didn't guess who the label said. Do I see the labels inside here? Nope. I'll see it when I put it in the VCR, I guess. It looks like there's a point to hop off here. Can I just leap off the roof? No, of course not. It's best I can't, because I would if I could, <laughs> which wouldn't be a good thing, I guess. A little pipe. You can also see the area that we were just at on the other side. Nice continuity there. Okay, so before I interact with that, I'm actually going to backtrack a bit because I'm going to try and save my game. What's this over here, anyways? There's a save file inside the lounge. I'm going to use this to see if I can try a different capture method. It's going to be a little bit of backtracking that I need to do to get this accomplished, but I am going to try and get there. Okay. I can't use the phone again. I don't even think I have any recorders right now, so... I should look for quarters more often. I feel like quarters are going to be the hidden thing in this game. Which is quarters hidden when I don't think about looking for them. Going down this way. Let me go save my game briefly. Because there's a save point right over here. Michael. Okay. So. I'm going to put this into windowed mode, so I'm not really sure how it's going to respond to this. I'm going to try and switch over to a screen capture instead of a game capture, because I feel like that's what's causing the issue. I guess I should stop the recording and start the recording, so one moment there.